pleased to be joined by Red Wings Executive Vice President and General Manager Ken Holland. So plenty of questions. Let's get right to it. Pavel Datsu. Uh, he's going to go see a doctor, I believe, tomorrow in uh, Carolina to perform the surgery, and then we'll uh, we'll see what he has to say. Uh, hope when he gives him the green light to kind of s- slowly begin skating, but we'll know more in the next 48 hours. Darren Hill. Uh, I'd say day to day. I think that uh, I talked to him today. He said his shoulder's feeling better, feeling a little little. Uh, yeah, he's going through the concussion protocol, so we'll see how he is uh, early next week. So he'd be a question mark for, for opening night. I mean, you're, you're hoping and you're thinking he'd yeah. be there, but uh, well, the that season, question mark uh, remains. The season starts, what, uh, two weeks from Friday, so, uh, you know, we got, we got a little over two weeks, so I don't think it's out of the question. He might be ready. We'll see how the next week goes. You've seen a lot of veterans over your time, but uh, probably this team has got as much depth in the organization as you've ever had before. I know it's early in training camp. You've liked Larkin from the time you draft him. Mantha recovered from the broken leg. Uh, your thoughts on both those young kids? They played last night and played pretty well. Both kids have had real good camps. Uh, you know, in Mantha's case, I think he went through a lot of adversity last year, his first year pro. Uh, I think he's had a good summer. Uh, coming to training camp, more experience, knows what to expect. I think he understands now how hard it is and how, how hard you got to work to get scoring chances. Much more prepared for pro hockey. Played real well last night, scored a goal. Uh, Dylan Larkins, uh, I, I just keep saying he's a good player. I think that 200-foot uh, player, he can transport the puck. You know, he can play on the offensive side of the game, the defensive side of the game. We have to... Uh, I, I, talked to him early in camp. I said he's going to have to make a hard decision for us, and uh, I'm sure he will. We're going to do what's right for him and for our team. You like to leave guys down if you can. Uh, you may not have that option if they if they just push you hard enough to say, I can play now, even at my age, and depending on your injuries, but uh, like you say, I guess you'll have to make that decision when the yeah, time comes. You know, my biggest thing, Mick, is going to be, as I sit and talk to Jeff Blash, it's not going to be opening night. We get 10, 15 games in. If he starts up um, I always think when the game's on the line, are the players on the ice? And and when you start to think on the off- offensive side of the, of the puck with Zetterberg and Datsuk and Helm and Ablocator and Tatar and Nyquist and Richards, can, he, can we find them ice time? It's, it's no good to play out here in the NHL and play 10 minutes and just try to survive. We want him on the power play and and uh, you know so we'll, we'll see here he's got to probably play three four more games and we'll make we'll make a decision all right it's about time you were lobbying long enough three on three how excited are you for overtime well in the, in the early goal I mean we played three uh, three on three for five minutes up in Traverse City I think a minute 20 and there was three goals uh, were in the you know last night uh, we had a great eight chance in overtime uh, Matt, they just missed the net. They went down three on one and, and put the puck in that. So I, I think that uh, we're going to have way more games decided in, 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 in overtime. And are, are you happy not only will there be a coach's challenge now for goals resulting from goalie interference and offsides? Yeah, the one we're going to watch real close is the offside plays. Uh, you know, every time the puck enters the zone, it, you know, I think there's going to be, my, my guess is there's going to be more goals possibly called off because of offside versus uh, goaltender interference so uh, we got to make sure that uh, we've talked about in the plane last night you know David Noel Brunier a video coach we got to make sure that we're on top of every goal that goes in that it entered the puck uh, legally when you were looking at the Eastern Conference Western Conference your contention is the East is much tougher than the West why well, I keep hearing for the last two years the West is way, way stronger. Now that we're in the East, you know, when I look at the goaltenders you face on a night-to-night basis, Carey Price, Ben Bishop, Holpe in Washington, the goaltenders in uh, uh, in Ottawa, Flurry, Tuka Rask, it can go, you know, you go on. There's just such a depth of top-notch goaltenders. I think if you sat and you, you put down the top 10, 11, 12 goaltenders in the National Hockey League, two-thirds of them might come from the east so you know there's there's some tremendous teams out, out west most of the best goalies are out east and uh, they're the last line of defense so i think that the uh, the teams in the east are, are underrated because of how good the goal the depth of the goaltending now after the performance you put on in, in traverse city saturday night with those bernie perrant pads you might be included in that list too <laughs> that was a lot of fun wasn't it <laughs> took down memory lane you look I mean, great yeah. you look great you really did yeah. i mean uh, how, how sore were you the next couple days uh, it wasn't bad we had what we call training camp on Friday where we had one hour skate a, a little sore Saturday morning and we played uh, thank goodness I only played 30 minutes of straight time so uh, uh, it, was, it, was, it was a lot of fun and for a good we ra- yeah raised some good money for a good cause <laughs> well every team needs a third goalie in the building on the Justin case it's either you or Jeff Blaschel uh, Blaschel that was first start <laughs> he he's, was he's big he does the butterfly he he looked tremendous it, it certainly opened my eyes if we have a goalie injury <laughs> Ken thanks for doing this